Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Thank you for joining me today for YouTube Friday. And so today we're going to be making a fall card. And um, as much as I want to just jump right into Christmas, I am going to try to continue making fall cards. I mean, it, it isn't even October yet, right? Tomorrow's the first. So um, I am trying to avoid just doing all Christmas cards. I'm just trying to do some fall cards right now. So um, I am excited. Tomorrow is our Christmas card stamp camp and I have all 12 openings filled. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to see some people that I haven't seen in a while. So yay. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to use a lot of different stamps, uh, stamp sets. I'm going to use my cut and emboss. I'm going to use an embossing folder that I really haven't used much. It's called fall, a leaf fall. And this is a 3D embossing folder. Okay, and this is how I organize mine. I just take them out of those sleeves. Don't keep them in the sleeves. And I just um, do that with my labeler. Put that on there so that um, I don't have to worry about stuffing them back in those little papers. Um, and I'm going to be using a paper pumpkin set. So a past paper pumpkin set. So I just looked at all my paper pumpkin sets because I'm looking for fall uh, sentiments. And I found this one from August of 2019. It's called The Gift of Fall. And I'm going to be using that today. I know it sounds bizarre, but I have over 90, probably 95 paper pumpkin stamp sets. And I love them and I keep them. They're all photopolymer sets. Um, well, except for the first couple, I think, were what cling stamps. But um, this stamp set is so cute. It has this saying, thankful for friends like you. I'm like, that's the stamp I'm going to use. So um, this is how I keep mine. I take all of my, um, almost like an organization video. Um, I use my sleeves because I take all of my dies out of the sleeves and I put them into these plastic cases, right? With, um, with the um, magnet sheets. Okay, so that frees up all of these sleeves and I'm not gonna throw these away. So I just put on here what it's paper pumpkin, the name of it and when it was. So I always know August of 2019. So we're gonna be using that stamp set today. Okay, we're gonna be using some fall colors. We're gonna be using some daubers, a little cut and emboss. We're gonna just go crazy and um, hope you enjoy it. I hope it doesn't go too long. Um, seems like my videos are getting longer. I don't know why. Maybe too much coffee. I don't know. Let's go. Okay, so put this down a little more so you can see. Okay, I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock as my cardstock base. I'm just going to fold this in half. This is five and a half by eight and a half, the usual size. Okay, I am going to run it through the fall leaf 3D folder. Okay, so I'm going to open this up lay it in here. I don't like wrapping it around because you get this um, weird spine. I don't like that so much. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to lay it in there like that. Now with your cut and emboss when you're doing your 3D you want to use this gray plate. Okay so you want to just take um, everything out except for the platform and use your gray plate that came with your cut and emboss. If you still have your old Big Shot and it's working, great. You probably have a blue plate that's like this and that's what you want to use okay so let's just run this through real quick so this is going to be the front of our card and um what I like about the cut and emboss that I didn't like so much about the big shot was that um the big shot was just a little bit narrower and um it seemed like there was a risk of of you know when you would run it through of running um of, of scraping up your, your embossing folders, okay? And if you scrape these, they will, over time, right, separate, and then you won't have a very good folder. It won't be a folder, it'll just be two pieces of plastic, okay? So look at this. This is the cutest embossing folder. Um, some are more distinguished than others, right? So, so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in because I'm going to have to do some cutting next. So I'm going to set this up for cutting. And I always keep uh, my one plate on the bottom. You can rotate it, but keep one plate on the bottom. Mine's just a little bit warped, but um, I'm going to flip it now and try 
try to kind of unwarp it. Okay, so I have this, and now I am going to uh, show you a piece of paper. This is a designer series paper that's from my Celebrate Everything, my favorite pack of paper, right? The big giant 12 by 12 pack, and um, I picked this wood grain because I'm going to make it my own. I'm going to use these three colors, Blackberry Bliss, Pumpkin Pie, and Cherry Cobbler. All very fallish car, uh, colors. Okay, And then I have a dauber for each one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the lightest color and I'm going to burnish some color into my designer series paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with that color and then I'm gonna use some of the Cherry Cobbler. So I want that nice rich color, so I am going straight, straight to the paper with it. Unlike with the, blend, with the blending brushes, right? You, you kind of stamp off like that, you kind of smudge off. You know what I mean. Touch of that. Mmm. This dauber's had its better day. I try to. Ooh, that's really dark. But I still want to see some wood grain. I don't want it that dark. Um, I try to wash these in between, but some they just finally over time they just start deteriorating. that is. Mm -hmm. I love it. So this designer series paper, if you don't have it, ugh, I have to say why. Because it's gorgeous. And this is called burnishing this technique. Okay, so you can make it any colors you want. You could go really light. You could use Christmas colors. You could do anything. Okay. Now I am going to close a couple of these. All right, I have a piece of, of cardstock here that is our Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just gonna layer this on here like that. So this is five and a half by two and three fourths, and this is just a smidge smaller. So it will layer nicely. Let me just put this in, so let's see if this is gonna work. Please work for me. I'm always afraid I'm going to get a reject, but I didn't, so that's good. Okay, so it's got a very tiny edge. That's what I want. I don't want it to be too thick. Okay, so now I'm going to layer that on here. I'm going to cover up a lot of those leaves, but it's okay. I know. I don't really want... I'm going to put a lot of glue on here because that's textured. And I want to make sure that this card does not fall apart. So, because this is five and a half, by three and three fourths, I'm going to get it from edge to edge. And I'm going to have three fourths of an inch on each side. Okay. Then I have a white piece. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stamp my greeting. And I'm going to use that, um, the gift of fall paper pumpkin, and I'm gonna use that thankful for friends like you. And I'm gonna use my Blackberry Bliss. Get rid of these, I think I'm done with those. Okay, I'm just gonna stamp it. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Might put it a little bit high. That is so rich and gorgeous. It really is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to trim this down just a smidge. Um, let's see, how big is it? It's four and a quarter by uh, one and three fourths. And I'm going to just take it down to like one and five eighths. I'm not going to take a lot off. I'm just going to take a little bit off. Okay, so I just took a little bit off the top. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some bling on it later, so I don't want to take it down too far. Okay, so I have that done, and I have ink on my fingernail. Typical. Okay, 
Now, another stamp set I'm gonna use, so I'm, I've got this ready. I guess I could go ahead and put this on. I'm gonna put this as a little bit lower. I don't want it totally centered, okay? And now I'm going to use a cup of tea. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use this cup right here. I know, I told you I was gonna use a lot of stamp sets today and I'm also gonna use a Christmas set, but I'm not making a Christmas card, right? So I am going to get a piece of scrap. Is this big enough? Yes, okay, so I'm gonna use my Blackberry Bliss. Oh, don't you just love that little striped cup? Mm, so cute. I'm a coffee girl, like I said, and I, because I love my coffee, I love my cups. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the teacup die. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to run this through the cut and emboss, okay? And the reason I'm, I could fussy cut it really quick, but I don't want to do that because I actually want um, it to cut out the little hole of the handle, and this uh, this die does that. Okay, so see it cut out that little hole right there. All right, I'm done with that die. Done with that set actually. So I am going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. I need a little tiny one, so I'm just going to cut one. I have some tiny ones here, but mm, I don't know. Didn't do a great job with that, but I think that'll work. Okay, so I have that ready. Now, as I said, I'm going to use this Christmas season. So the reason is because I want to use some of these leaves. I don't want to use the pine cones, but I want to use some of these leaves, and I want to make them different colors. So... I am going to use this one. And I'm gonna stamp this. Is this gonna fit? Ooh, barely. Okay. I don't think I need that color anymore, but I do need cherry cobbler. Oh, I love this stamp. Look how cute that is. All right, so I have that, and then I'm going to use this stamp, and I'm going to stamp this. I'm glad I got all these blocks here. I'm going to stamp this in pumpkin pie. I don't want to stamp it in um, Blackberry Bliss because I have a lot, a lot of Blackberry Bliss going on already. Okay, I'm done stamping. Now I'm going to just cut these out with the dies. So seasonal labels is the coordinating dies that coordinates with Christmas um, Christmas season. I know, you wouldn't know that, right? Actually, what I did was I put that in here, seasonal labels dies. So I would know. Okay, so I want to use my dies. I'm going to cut this one out and this one out. Maybe I can cut these at the same time. Maybe I can pull that off. Ooh, I hope I can. I hope I don't have to re-stamp them. I've had to do that in the past. Okay, because we don't have our magnetic plate anymore. I know, it's so sad. Magnetic plate was here and then uh, was defective again. So it's like, mm, that really, if you have one, and it's not having a problem, you can keep using it for sure. If it um, starts to split, okay, um, stop using it. Don't try to glue it together in any way and use it in your cut and emboss because it can, um, oh, I just dropped my oh, piece. Um, because it can actually uh, ruin, uh, mess up your cut and emboss. So don't do that, all right? 
Okay, so I have these two, and I'm going to put these dies back. Okay, so now what I want to do is I just want these coming out of the cup. See, I love that. It's bringing the colors back in. Just using those three colors, I had thought maybe I would use black <clears throat> to stamp my uh, sentiment. But I actually, because that um, Blackberry Bliss is so dark, I actually think it works really well. Look at that. Okay, I need to put a little bit of glue. On these leaves. No, oh, look. <gasps> the leaves actually cut off, which wasn't my plan. You can't really tell. So let's go with it. Oh, look how cute that is. It actually works perfect there. That's cuter than I thought it was going to be, actually, guys. Okay, so I said I was going to bring in some bling. And the bling that I plan to bring in, I hope works. These are those brushed metallic adhesive back dots. And I really like these. Those are the um, copper ones. So I think I'm going to use those. And I'm just going to use three. I'm use these three small ones, I think. No, it's going to leave all these big ones, but that's okay. One. Because it kind of, I want them lined up. My girlfriend always says perfection is overrated. Yes, it is, but... God didn't make us perfect, right? He made us with all kinds of flaws and and things, but when I want those lined up, I want them lined up. Okay, so there's our card today. Oh, I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. And I did use a lot of product, right? I used uh, several different stamp sets and dies, but I think it all worked out. And that Celebrate Everything paper. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. So... Um, I, if you're coming to stamp camp tomorrow, I am excited. We're going to have, um, lunch. I'm going to have a baked potato bar. Um, I'm going to make pumpkin cookies and, um, we're going to have a great time making 12 Christmas cards each. I know it's crazy, but wonderful. Okay. So thanks for watching today and I will see you on Tuesday.